Hi, Simon Catesby here with another quick tutorial on using Snapheel to make quick, simple yet highly effective improvements to your photos. We have a photo of a nice truck here, but overall, against the drab buildings, the photo is nothing special. We also have some serious problems with fogginess in some areas, such as at the front of the truck here. Let's see how fast and easy it is with Snapheel to make this photo really pop. The first thing we'll do is go into the Adjust module. Now the Adjust module makes changes to the entire image. For instance, if I play around here with saturation, we're changing the saturation for the whole image at once. Now the first thing I want to play with is clarity, which is one of my very favourite adjustments in Snapheel. If I now move the clarity adjuster to the right, look how that truck already pops and we've already lost most of our fogging there. The final adjustment I'm going to do is on the highlights because I want the truck to really pop out from the background. As I move the slider you see the highlights changing, which is affecting the building in the background. I don't want that all the way, I'm going to back it down to about here and then that should do us. Now let's jump into the retouch module. The difference with the retouch module is we can selectively apply our adjustments. Let me show you. If I drop down the saturation, grab the brush and paint over the truck here, I'm taking all the colour out, but this time only where I'm painting. So I want to take the colour out of this photo but leave the truck as it is. I'm going to pick a larger brush and then I'm going to bring down the softness. Think of the softness as being the fuzziness of your brush. We want a nice hard brush with well-defined edges. So with our saturation down, if I now paint on the photo, I'm simply taking out the colour in the background. However, there's another way to work. If I click on the eye tool here, I can paint on a mask. Now it's a personal preference. I like working with masks because it's very clear to see exactly where I'm painting and where I'm not. I don't need to be particularly accurate under the truck here because we're working with colour and there's no colour in that part of the photo. I'm then going to bring my brush size down again and just go and neaten up around the edges of the truck. If I click on the eye again, and as you can see we've taken all the colour out from the photo other than the truck. How easy was that? All we then need to do is apply our change. Finally, I'm just going to jump back into the adjust module and hit that beautiful clarity slider one more time and up it all the way. How about that? There's our truck. There's how we started out. Completely different photo. 